Hey, Dave here. Welcome to Frenzy Extinction Overview. That's a pretty good phrase to sum up what's recently been happening on the Quest Store. Like if I will keep this up, then I will go extinct here. <laughs> so Frenzy Extinction is a physics-driven combat game where there has been a mutation situation with the virus called Frenzy, unleashing upon the world a new wave of chaotic energy, and you need to confront the hordes of the Ridden before it's too late. You may be predicting that I will instantly trash this game because of the graphics, but actually not at all, primarily because it's an artistic choice and with the things and features happening inside the game, maybe it's for the better. First things first, it's a very chaotic and confusing project that doesn't lead you by the hand even in the tutorial section and throws you into the whirlwind to figure out what even is going on. When I loaded into the game I could instantly tell that it's not something professionally made cause the level of quality was very much apparent if it's with the audio or lack of and just having no streamlined content, but instead you get bombarded by features, attacked instantly and have no time really to figure out where to go or additional mechanics. There's just combat going on all the time and you have no window to peruse around the environments. It is a physics title, that's for sure, maybe not heavily leaning into the weights and collisions with the kinetics and stuff, but it feels rather nice to swing your weaponry, activate some special attacks and utilize a big arsenal of mass destruction tools. There is some kind of vision going on, problem is, it's just a mashup of everything altogether, but it feels like a sandbox in a sense that there are just things to use but nothing that is explained at all, like I don't know how upgrades work, perks, basic combat essentially and besides that it's just nothing for me. In my opinion this should be cooking way longer or have someone that actually can compile a game but not a tech demo and then you can worry about putting out some additional features cause now it's just a soup pretty much. Let's go into Frenzy! It's been seven months since I destroyed Reborn, the company who created the Frenzy virus. I thought that was the end of it, but they had already started distributing the virus to a nearby island. The mayor there was receiving large shipments delivered to the port. That is where I should begin my search to find out more about their plans. The virus was unintentionally released and quickly infected the city and its surrounding areas. I know first-hand the effects of this virus, as someone who's been infected myself. Although I'm plagued by the supernatural effects of the virus, most people have it a lot worse. Whilst a small percentage of people like myself are able to control this power, most are not strong enough to survive the effects, instead turning into ruthless mutants. If my premonitions are to be believed, the whole city has already fallen. It is now up to me to rid the world of this virus and the mutant abominations it has created. Okay, first of all... The voiceover was very low quality and I could hear some... computer clicking and stuff, so... It's nothing professional. I think the graphics already gave it away. I don't understand that there's bad resolution going on, but nothing is like high fidelity, so... Hello? <laughs> like... Do you see something? I just can't believe this is on the official storm. <laughs> also, not sufficient sound effects. I 
I mean, the design itself is definitely something more than just basic Unity project. So there was some effort put into it, however, I don't know if necessarily... <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> Kinda spooky though. <laughs> what about the mechanics? They are a bit different from the standard stock movement, so I can't be mad about that. Okay, wait, what do I do? Oh. But that's the whole tutorial? Okay, so we just need to switch locations, like... What the? I'm confused what's going on. Simply because not everything like registers. Get off me. <laughs> I guess I'm finished. Okay. <laughs> it's even worse. I mean, everything is interactable, which is nice. Somewhat present physics. Yeah, that doesn't work. Hello? People can't make, like, straightforward games anymore. Wait, what the? This is so confusing. Is there like my menu or anything to start the action? I'll have to find something. So there's some billboard but like I still don't know what's going on the tutorial was not sufficient like I only learned swinging I'm somewhere well if I would know how to reload Maybe something more practical. They also randomly spawn from out of nowhere. It's 
crew this. <laughs> My fists work better. Everything is like to unlock. Whoa. <laughs> Do I even have HP? This is not the correct direction. Maybe something else? Necronium. It's just so one note. And you can't even focus on what's going on or have the time to read because they just approach you instantly. There's a problem of game dynamic. It's also this back of the hand thing does nothing. Can I have a break? Oh my god. This is not it. Let me peruse more in the hideout, but like... There's no explanation of anything. A bunch of minigames. I'll try maybe a boss rush, but only for a short while, because I don't have time. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of effects going on. But I would appreciate how to use the ranged ones. I'll go with my trusty nail thing. Not to me. Ophidia. You crazy big? Okay, she did nothing.
Oh, I like that. It's just like a lot of things are out of touch with what's happening. There is some like skill level going on. Oh my god. But that thing is still very unclear. This is just so unfinished. Yeah, well, that was fun for one minute. This game is just all over the place. I don't even know if I can call it that because it's very much an early access of the project that is just not ready for the official store. I could forgive the graphics because it's an artistic choice. However, the sound effects, mechanics, like tutorial, everything is just not finished and ready to go. I do appreciate the physics side of things because it's not just a brainless punching and slashing. Well, I mean, maybe a little bit, but still gives you some challenge to surpass. But then the enemies or even bosses have no sounds. Special attacks, normal attacks, just silent and you don't even know if something's coming or not. <laughs> Game is just throwing you into the gutter and figure it out yourself what's going on, cause besides few lines of the story, everything else, it's up for interpretation and you to figure out where to go, what to do. Like if I would be explained the upgrades, perks, pretty much the whole mechanical side of things, then I would be more organized in my gameplay and have some guidance what to do. Also, the resolution is just garbage, but it seems like it's a trend with games nowadays. Up until it won't get ironed out, I could care less about this project and it sucks because there's some vision from the developers and I can kind of see it, but it's not fully realized.